So my next job is to get all these joints mirrored. And as part of that, I want to take a moment and just kind of start getting them into a parent-child relationship with my main hierarchy. So I'm actually going to start by making more joints. I know it's your favorite. So the first joint I'm going to make, I'm just going to put somewhere kind of in here. doesn't really matter where. We're going to call this one the left facial features connection. And this is not something that is going to bind. It is not something that I'm ever going to worry about influencing. It's just there to exist as part of the hierarchy. Because what I can do with it, uh, let's take my nostril joints. I'm going to make them children of this left facial features connection. And here's the jowl. I'm going to make them children. And I'm using a middle mouse drag and drop, but you can use whatever you like. Let's do the cheek and the nose, and the brow, the whole brow. And that should leave me with the lips and the eyelids and the eye creases. You know what? I'm going to do the eye creases here too. I'm just going to keep the eyelid and the lip separate. Yeah, that should be fine. So now I've got all of these joints here, like a really aggressive sea urchin. But with this left facial features joint, this is super easy. I'm going to take it, I'm going to make it the child of that connections joint that was part of my main skeleton. And now I can take my left facial features and I can mirror. We'll do all the things we already know, Y and Z, search for left. I'm going to use my underscores to be extra safe because naming is super important. And boom, now they're on the right side. Yay! Good stuff. So I left the eyelids and the lips separate. And I left the lips separate because I like to have the upper lip. Where are my upper lip joints? There are my upper lip joints. I like to make these joints the child of this upper lip joint. So I'm just going to select them, press P, and now they are all children of the upper lip. I will have to parent them one at a time. Sorry, not parent, mirror them. So I'm just going to run mirror joints. And then I will just press G to restart the mirror command. And G and G. Good. So that takes care of those. And then these little friends, the lower lip, I'm going to make a child of this lower lip joint. And again, I will go through and run mirror joints and then press G to restart mirror, and G, and G. So that takes care of those. And just to test that out, when this moves, all those lower lip influences that I've made come with it. Good to see. And this, all those upper lip influences that I made are going to come with that. So that's good too. Now, I left the eyelid separate because I'm just not sure how I feel about them. You got all these options for your eyelids. Um, I could just make each one of these a child of its fellow crease joint, and that would be totally fair. Um, some people will also make like another eye joint in the back here that could bring all of the eyelid joints together. So there are a few different hierarchic options. Um, I think for today, let's delete the right side and let's just make 
the lid joints a child of the crease joints and see if we like that. We might, we might not. Um, and again, we're always trying to think about how we're going to use these joints. So for this, what's going to happen is every time the crease moves, the lid will move along with it, which might be good and might be really bad. So yeah, let's put those together. Let's put these together. And in this case, I'm just selecting child first, parent second, and pressing P. Child first, parent second, hey now, and pressing P. But to go along with that, I think just to go along with that, I am going to make two more joints. Uh, we'll make one just right here behind the top lid, and maybe one here just underneath the lower lid. I know they're in a chain right now. I'm going to correct that. Don't worry. I'm going to move them out here to where the left eye is. Right about there. That looks good. Let's make them not be children of each other. This is going to be the left upper eyelid connections. And this is going to be the left lower eyelid connections. And now I am going to take the upper eye crease joints. Why are there only three of you? There should be, there's the fourth. Good. Okay, and let's make these children of here. Upper, that goes to upper. So yeah, that gets all four of the upper eyelid pieces. So now here's my lower eyelid connections. It looks like I've got two of these here. Oh, and then the rest of them I made in all the wrong order. Good times. So let's make all of these unparented. And now we'll go eyelid one to be the child of eye crease one. My goodness, I cannot find anything. There's eye crease one. There's eyelid one. That should go there. Okay. Then here's eye crease two, eyelid two, that looks good. Here's eye crease three, here's eyelid three, that's good. That'll go up there. Eye crease four, eyelid four, and that'll go there. Now somehow I've got this eyelid zero one. Let's just make that the child of that. And now I've got an upper and a lower eyelid. Okay, that was much harder than it had to be. So I'm just gonna stick these two into my left facial features connections. And again, I am going to mirror my joints. So now I've got left side joints and right side joints, and they're all going to move together. So if I rotate my head, all the joints move together. Ah, <sighs> so beautiful. If I rotate my jaw, all the appropriate joints come with. 
really good. And if I move my upper lid joint, everybody comes with that too. So this is a really massive skeleton. And in the next video, I will start adding all of these joints to my existing weight paint, which I know is a bear, but we're gonna go nice and slow and we'll see how we can make this work in the most logical way possible.